in this video i am going to talk one of the interesting framework it is also have been created by the netflix and you do have a seamless connectivity with the spring framework yes that is the hysterics and it is also called the fault tolerance library so first we will understand how to manage the fault tolerance uh, if you have the multiple microservices in your code because this is the one of the very important thing we should take care if you have the multiple microservices and what is the circuit breaker pattern we will also see and what is the netflix asterisk we will see some definition and to understanding better understanding for the asterisk we will develop on very small project and try to understand where and how we should use this okay so let us start that okay before starting that i have one question for you so suppose if you have the one api gateway and you have many services a b c d e and if through the browser or the mobile phone through the api if you want to call the service b and that time suppose service b is not up it is not running or network is slow what happen it will throw the exception and that exception will go to the to the user to your browser and it would not be good right you have to somehow to catch the exception catch this errors before hitting to the your uh, calling browser or the calling mobile right take another example so suppose through the browser or from any ui or mobile phone and uh, you are browsing some e-commerce website suppose the flipkart amazon or anyone and then uh, you first compute the order system of and this, each one is the microservices here once you finish the order order system then it will delegate the execution to the payment microservice but this payment microservice was the some internal errors what happened that it will throw the exception right and whatever you have select the item put in the card and order system is already finished after all those things if payment is got disturbed everything got disturbed right it will not call this error it will it will also disturb this microservices it will also this microservices so and of course you don't want to have this kind of experience by your user right so what you will do that time so obvious you will need something who can stop this cascading errors to the the incoming microservices right so how you will catch and take the and if suppose some problem out there you can delegate to some other instance of the payment or you can give the information to the user hey uh, i have complete your order but you have to make the payment as the payment service was slow some kind of things this message you can give to user for the better ui experience and the solution is the hysterix hysterix is called the circuit breaker pattern means as i explain here that if ever we be here it will also cascading here so hasquit saying no if ever is here we will not make it cascading we just stop it here and we will through the fall back we will take some uh, some precautions or take some uh, preventive measure it should not impact to the other macro services and that's why this design pattern is called the service circuit breaker pattern and how we can achieve we will achieve through the hysterix this is a library that control the interaction between the micro services to provide the latency and the fault tolerance that will be seen in the code but if you see the distributed environment whether you have the uh, multiple micro services so obvious you should have a very good mechanism by which you can do the fault tolerance right so and this is the example that uh, as i explained that that service could be have the internal error it could be the slow service due to some other dependencies due to some third party dependencies or due to some slow network one of the micro services could not work as per your expectations so what you will do that right so what i will do uh, i will use the hashtag to the spring network and uh, this is the uh, the github site for the hashtags you can go and read about more about hashtags uh, 
and uh, I'm going to show one demo in demo what I will do I will make one order demo REST API through the boot application and uh, one the product demo through the boot application and then I will make one another microservice hashtag demo and I will try to call the both service one after one back to back and I will make one microservice is down and see what is impacting that right uh, please uh, subscribe this channel and you can get many more videos on the spring framework on the spring board spring security spring cloud mbc uh, apo uh, I, aop i have made many videos please subscribe and get an opportunity to watch those videos okay so let us start that what i will do first uh, go to the spring initializer to and this is the easy way to create the microservice boot applications right so give any group name here i am giving just below dot suman and i will as i explained i will first make the order demo then product demo then the history demo right so make the order demo and i need one just one dependency the wave that's it i make the java 8 and generate it will import in your uh you no know, to download folder you can see that i have the order demo the same thing we can create the product demo also generate it and make the hatrix demo right so all three we can do together okay now go to open the eclipse i have already opened that and this is the uh, uh, empty workspace so and import all the project what we have created for the spring initializer right so it is the maven project i have chosen the maven project so go to the maven existing maven project next go to the path whether it has been downloaded right so we downloaded the here and take the first order demo import it and also import the product as well right or you can import all the three in one shot yeah same thing go download here and the product demo import and also import the hashtag demo right now what we will do uh, this i will execute this order demo on 8081 it will be running on the 8081 port number this would be running 8082 and this would be the running by default port 8080 okay so let us start from the order first and foremost go application server and make that i want to this to run on 8081 right and uh, in order make some um, small controller so by which we can understand which code is working right so go to the this not resources came here create the class make one package here as we have been doing in all our the previous code and make the order controller first and foremost go and add the rest controller right and make the three method or two method any two method we can do that this is uh, get mapping give the name any name you can just a hypothetical functions we are making so public string and say home method right and return 
and we we'll just simply say this is the home means sub order service right okay make the another method give the name something order or um, yeah you can give that and and say this is the order server home page and this is a say order page any message you can give that right okay so if you make this one and do the same thing inside the product also right so go to the product first and foremost make the running on the 8082 server dot port 8082 that's it and came here and the same way we make the controller and here say product controller right and as usual add the annotation to expose the api right same thing we do get mapping home page you can give anything and when we will see that this is the other the home page okay for the product so we can say this is our the home page home page for the product server right it's fine we need one semicolon we need some more space remove it and then the this one looking fine Waste control, everything is okay. So, what is the problem? Get mapping, we have to add the annotation, right? And do another one more method give the name, product, any hypothetical method we can make it right. And this is the same product page for the product server. That's it. And let me check that both are working or not, right? at least now go to the order here and run it and just to be check whether working fine or not it should work on 8081 right so yeah this is working on 8081 now run the product so here you go And it should work on the 8082, right? So it is the 8082. Just once check once everything working or fine or not. Localhost 8081 and say home. Sorry, home. It is working. And the same go localhost 8082 and home. This is the product server. Okay. Now let us come and uh, use the has to things that is the important thing what we are talking about that so go to the code now and what you have to do for the has first and foremost you go the pom.xml and i need some change here right so what you need the change first go and change the version number because it needs some compatible version number so i need 154 and also I need cloud version that we use in the dependency management. So you have to put it here. This is the second change. Third change, you have to add the dependency for the hysterix, right? So go here. This is the third change. And fourth change, you have to add the dependency management, right? We are not going to detail why we do all those things, just we solving the dependency, that's why. 
and save it it might be take some time uh, because we add the new web page so in my case it has been already downloaded so it is not taking the time now so now if you have done that then what you have to do actually first come to the oh so it is saying that your test cases dependency is not there i don't want to test cases right now so you just comment out for time being because this is not our topic today you have to go and close that yeah so what you have to do first you come the base uh, the base applications and here you have to say that you need the hash tricks. you want to enable the hash tricks, right so you enable the hash tricks. now it should work right and uh, even you can use this also uh, enable circuit breaker only thing is that the enable uh, hysterics is only for the hysterics but the circuit breaker can be work for the other circuit breaker also this is the one change we need here and uh, the the actual work is going to the controller side right so make one controller from there i will try to call the both microservices product and the order okay so as usual make one controller here and give the name hysterix controller finish it okay just for first and foremost make the list controller okay and we will add one home method so just for testing purpose that it is working or not okay and what you will do i will try to make one method that will do the card purchase so whatever i have kept in the card i want to purchase it so i want to call the both order as well as the product right so obvious we need the waste uh, template that we have already discussed in the previous video how to make the waste template waste template to call the other microservice so i just make the one bean and do, did the auto wiring just we can now have the waste template and to the waste template if you see i want to use the order server here and here purchase right and hope this both should be up now copy and check order service is up and if you copy paste this purchase that should also be up purchase is not up why 8082 we have the purchase right so let me check what happened to project now go to the controller here i have given the product right sorry so you have to give the product and use the same copy paste in r the hysterix here right where is the hysterix i was writing yeah so here you press this so everything is working right so now what you do suppose if one is if you are expecting it might be one microservice down or something you can expecting some error is there here so what you would do here first of all you have to uh, do the get mapping so through the get mapping we will come to know right and here you have to do it you have to use the hash tricks command i will tell you what is this hash tricks command so the intention is that he's saying if something happen in the method suppose the order is not working product is not working then what you want to do so now it is giving the control to your hand if something happened to any microservice any error is there network is slow so then what you want to do in that condition so i will say if something happen then you please execute this method my fallback method and i will what i will do i will write one fallback method here so if something will happen here it will give the message 
that to uh, have a user please come back in 10 minutes okay have a user please come back in 10 minutes so he will not get any any internal errors he will get this message right or whatever the want you want to do if you want to transfer this execution to another microservice you can do anything but what i will see i want to see both without the hashtags and with the hashtags so what is the difference so make uh, just make the complete copy here okay and this is the first demo i will do without hashtags i want to see what is the problem or we and second i want to see second demo i want to see with the hashtags okay and now if you run that and see what is happening now okay let me deploy the hashtags now it will work on the 8080 right but on the by default port it should run on the 8 execute on the 8080 okay fine now i have to call the first demo right then the second demo right so come here and come here and local host home it is working fine now let me call the first demo first demo so if you do the first demo is working fine right why it is working fine because both services are up now let me the order service down so i want order service down so if you see here i will go in order service i will make it the down right now order service is done if you want to check you can check order service is on it is done right now you go and call the first demo and what is happening it is giving the error page not only this much if you go the eclipse you are also getting the error here why it is happening because we have not uh, control the fault tolerance we have not done the fault tolerance right now let me do the fault tolerance now run the second demo and see what is the output same page here you come and do the second demo see so now you can see which is the good one right previous one or this one here there is no error he's saying okay user i am facing some problem please come back in 10 minutes this is the way to handle that right if some server is up i want to make the another demo that what you do you make the order is on is make the order service up but wait some make some delay that could be possible right you are expecting something work in the one second but it is taking more than one second so what you have to do i make the order is also up and we will use the third demo <coughs> and in third demo what i did here if you see the third demo in third demo i am expecting that this thing should be supposed to finish in one second so if you see the hashtags command in the hashtag command i have given the hashtags property and saying that the time in millisecond means this method should execute within the one second but i purposefully made it the thread sweep for two seconds so this function is not going to execute in one second in that condition also this method we execute has to we take care and here we go the fallback method if it is taking the more time even though both server on but it's taking the time right so go the we have to again run the hashtags as we change the code so come the hashtags part run the code again and see the magic now application <laughs> running perfectly it is 
for backing happening because in the third demo I'm expecting for the one second but it was taking the two seconds so in this way you can make the fault tolerance functionality in your microservices project thank you very much please be sure you uh, subscribe my channel for many more new videos on the many uh, uh, good the, on the latest technologies thank you very much